Okay, let's see if we can get this done. Let's see if we can get it started. Ooh, fix the hair. Where is it supposed to go? That's supposed to go there. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Oh, Diane, you're the first one here. Good morning. Hi, Cindy. Oh, let me move. Oh, hang on. It's on the wrong. Oi. Uh, let me move this over. There we go. Hi, Janet in California. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to wait a couple seconds so people can jump on. Uh, looking at what's on my desk to make sure there's not any extreme sneak peeks over there. I think we're okay. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll just leave it there and see what happens. Hi, Marianne in Georgia. Good morning. Hi, Lena. Good morning. Hi, Sherry in Texas. Let's see. Hi, Mar Myra. Myra, sorry, in Tennessee. Hi, hi, Pam. See, the Facebook is so small. It's like hard to read it. Hi, Pam. Good morning. Hi, Sherry in Texas. Hi, Deborah in North Carolina. I am feeling a billion times better. And I think I need to tell you, I think what happened. So, uh, you know what? We don't. Okay, there we go. YouTube's not sending out announce. I mean, sending out notifications there. Hi, Jill. Good morning. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Bonnie, my love. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, Mary Ellen in Montana. I've been to Montana multiple times. My Half my family lives up in Montana. Oh, thank you, Myra. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Hi, Jane Johnson in Florida. Hi, Arla. Hi, Arla. Good morning. Uh, enjoyed the class last night. What class was it last night, Arla? What class? What class? Hi, Dolores. Good morning. Hi, Meg. Hello. Hi, Valerie. Um, I thought I would, oh, Meg, you're not late. No, I, no, I'm a little late. Oh, Jill says the new stamp set is gorgeous. <gasps> Thank you. I have been dying to do this flower. You guys, I've had this flower done for more than a year. I tried to get it on the schedule last year. It wouldn't, I couldn't get it on the schedule. And so now I finally got it on there. And I have a couple samples to show you just, be, well, I'll be honest. This is my favorite sample. Who made this one? Michelle made this one. But look at the coloring. And remember, we all can color now because we know how with our tri-blends. But look at the coloring on those, you guys. She's amazing. But I, I'm telling you, this one's my favorite. I love these. I love the, the full one. I did it two different ways. So I did it with the lines or with the extra flowers in there and separate. So you could add the flowers, your, I mean, the extra flowers yourself. Because, you know, some people, I like to have a lot of options. Um, Pamela loves the posies. Thank you. Hi, Sandra D. Hello. Hi, Betty. Betty says she loves the posies and the camper. Yay. Oh, the Thursday make and take. Yay, Arla. Yes. Yes, it was. Um, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I talked to Ken. Thank you, Bonnie. She loves the new stamp sets too. I actually talked to Ken and I'm working on making the crafting corners a little bit more detailed. Um, I think the last two, I've done a good job on that where I've just gone a little bit further with like my mental, mental thoughts on it and more, it's just like a, a stronger card than in the past. I know I've, they're more like just simple, fast cards because I, I talk a lot in the beginning. And so now I'm working on trying to shorten my, my shout outs, which I love doing shout outs, but I want to shorten the shout outs on Thursday a little bit so we can have more content for cards. So I'm excited about that. Karen says, hello from Georgia. Love the new stamp set and new color. Thank you. Thank you. I, you guys, Flamingo is the bomb. I honestly think it's my new favorite pink. Honestly, honestly. So um, let's see. Good morning, Mar uh, uh, Margo. Sorry. Pause and crafts. Hello. Hi, Ponzi. Good morning. Uh, uh, let's see. Hi, friend. You know what? I, I, I don't, I don't feel like YouTube. Usually we have a lot more people here from YouTube. This is kind of weird. Um, uh, Jill says, love the idea of more complicated cards. Love watching cards go together. Yeah, Jill, usually I just do a simple boom. Here's a card. But now I want to get like into like the dies that take a little bit more time and energy. And, uh, I think we're going to enjoy it. Uh, hang on. I saw something. Um, Kathy likes that idea. Uh, Mary Ann says, can't wait to get my flamingo set. Oh my gosh. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, Rhoda says, hi from Texas. Flowers are my jam. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Sharon says, I would love for you to show how to mask and stamp. Absolutely. I can do that. Yes. Um, I will definitely work on doing that. And somebody had mentioned they wanted me to show off the palette for, um, 
a mirror for palette or palette for mirror. So that's another one I want to show off. So um, when will the new color be out for everyone else to order? Um, Deborah, it's in the kit right now and the cardstock is available now and the felt is available separately. So the cardstock and the felt is available separately. Um, it's usually like six months for it to be released by itself. Just the, um, just the ink pads. I think it's usually six months what they have it on schedule for. Um, Sandra D says the flower pot box, the flower pot box card is fun and can't wait to see it put together. Yeah, this one is really, oh, Katrina ordered six, uh, ordered the black six by six, um, cubes. They came, um, she ordered two sets. Yay. That's awesome. You're going to love them. I use my pink ones all the time. I don't know if you can see them. There's the back of one, but I use my pink ones all the time. So, um, I'm excited to use the six by the black ones. So here, just so you can get a better idea of the flower pot box. Hi, Jill. Hello. Um, uh, yeah, Deborah, you're going to love it. So here, look how flat it can be, right? So, you know, I always have to have everything flat. And then when you open it up, you just kind of like open it like that. And now it's literally a flower pot. The cool thing is, is it has these, you know, the, the, the lip of the flower pot. It has it so you could leave that part up if you wanted to. Or you can lay it down like this one so it's like an extra layer to the pot, which I really liked that. So um, I had fun designing this one. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. it uh, keep in mind though, depending on how tall you make your flowers will depend on what envelope you use. So when, you're, when you put your box together, make sure that you put the envelope size that you want to use below you as you're gluing in your flowers or whatever different flowers you're going to want to do. So look at that flower there. Look at that, you guys, aren't they gorgeous? So, and the You Grow Girl and the, um, uh, hang on. Bonnie says, I'm thinking of using the flower pot for my granddaughter's open house. Oh, awesome. And then With Love is also included. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited about this. Um, if, if I had my way, I'd do flowers every other month. But <laughs> I know there's some people that wouldn't want flowers every other month. There's some people that would. I can't, um, I cannot uh, get everyone every single time. But I'm excited about it. And uh, Betty says the flower pot dye is going to be my new favorite dye. Yay. Yay. Awesome. So the good news is, oh, you guys, you guys, I need your help. Those of you especially watching on your laptops or your iPads or your desktops, I really, really, really need your help. I went into my email box this morning and my newsletter wasn't there from the Stamps of Life. And it's always there, right? So I'm like, wait, I know it went out. I saw, I got the confirmation, it went out. So I looked in my spam folder and it was in my spam folder. Okay, I have never marked it spam, obviously. <laughs> so of course it's in my spam folder. I click on it, I say not spam. So it moves it to my email box, right? So then I'm like, well, that's really weird. So then I went into Faylene's email box to check hers. Guess what? Hers is in the spam folder. So I went in and I marked it safe and it put it in the right spot. So can I please, 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 please have you go check your spam folder. And um, I check my, because I email for work, I check my spam folder every single day. And sometimes Ken's emails go in there. I mean, I don't get it. But if you could please, please, please check your email boxes today and just your spam folders, please scan it. And I know there's some gross stuff in there. I get it. But can you please scan it to see if there's any Stamps of Life emails in there? If there are, can you please mark each one safe? You have, literally will have to mark each one safe. Hopefully there's not too many in there. But it literally kills me kills me. Yes. Gift certificates sometimes go in there. It really, really is killing me that they're going into the spam folder. So if you could please, 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 please mark them safe or whatever your email provider says, if it's safe or if it's not spam or whatever, I'd really, really, really appreciate it because the more people that do it, will help us. I don't know. Some, for some reason it went into spam. So Sharon got hers. Good, good. 
Uh, Susan says, if you are not a subscriber anymore, you no longer have an account. Uh, no, Susan, you still have an account. Uh, you, you can have an account at the Stamps of Life without being a subscriber. Yes, you can. Um, uh, awesome. Russ said his didn't go in. That's good. Uh, uh, Sally Joe, it says it, it'll say like, um, news from the Stamps of Life, or it'll say, here's what's going on or something like that. Carlon says, oh, here's an idea. She says, just flag Stamps of Life as VIP. That seemed to fix the problem for me on my Apple devices. Oh, okay, guys. So Carlon says if you mark it as VIP or maybe important or something like that, maybe it, that will help it. So that would be great. That would be great. Um, yeah, so Carrie, try marking it VIP. Try that. Diane says my order confirmation went to my spam. Yeah, so try marking it VIP. I would love to have an example of fixing that. That would be great. Um, Meg says the only emails from Sam's Life that go into her junk folder is her confirmation. Yeah, try try the VIP thing. I like that. Um, uh, Permanent, they are working on the checklist. Yes, it's it's probably a good four weeks out still um, because there's so much individual coding. Uh, the The problem with my website, it, well, the good thing and the bad thing about my website is um, there's so much specific coding that needs to be done. Uh, so, and anytime they code something new, then it, they have to check, they have to do a whole check just to make sure that it doesn't affect anything else. So that's why, um, Carrie says it's been VIP from the get go. Well, thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Uh, oh, good. Janet's wasn't in her spam folder. That's good. Um, Sharon says, were you able to get the gallery to auto adjust the size of images? Yes, Sharon, that works. The gallery is working. The gallery is working. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's, oh, Rhoda just didn't go to spam. That's good. That's, that's good. Yes, Ellie Joe, go look in your spam folder and, uh, or your junk folder. Sometimes they call it a junk folder and look for something called from Stamps of Life. Hi, Sherry, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Jill says the gallery is much easier. Thank you, I'm so excited. Yeah, you guys, I really want you to use that gallery because on the Facebook fan page, the official Facebook fan page, uh, I, um, I love seeing the images on there and I'm trying really hard to go on there more often to see everything because I love seeing all your creations. Uh, and I love seeing them on there. Don't get me wrong. I still want you to do that. However, it's like, it's hard to find it like a week later because a lot of people post, which is awesome, but a lot of people post. And then it's hard to find that one that you remember you really, really loved. So if you also upload it to our online gallery, if you know that it uses this flower set, you can go to the product page, click on this product, this product and view idea gallery and all the ideas using this product will pop up. So if you ever just say, oh, I wanna use this, I don't know what to do with it. Go to the product page, click on the view idea gallery, and you can see all of the ideas using that product. So um, yes, so please do. Hi, Quilty, hello. Um, uh, Carmen says, so you may not know, will I check off bundles or will the website do it? Carmen, that is also something they're working on. They're working on getting the um, duplicate product check is what it's called duplicate product check. So um, they're working on getting that fixed. So when you order a bundle and then you go back six weeks later and try to order something that was in that bundle, I'm not sure if that's done yet, but it will be done. It will be done. So you um, won't accidentally order the same thing from the bundle that you already bought. So I, that is on their list. I feel like it could be done. So maybe somebody could test that for me that's bought the bundle and then they try to go in and buy one something else separate. Um, Judy, did you look in your spam or um, uh, other folder? Um, yeah, so the crop and create is, is um, very busy. It's something I do with um, scrapbook cards and today. 
Those of you that don't sign up for it, don't worry. All the Stamps of Life products will be available on our website. So um, just heads up on that. All the items will be available on our website. Uh, do club kits go on the list? That, Pamela, I don't know. I don't know. That might be something you need to mark off eventually on your own. On your own. Uh, Amanda says, hello from North Carolina. Thanks, uh, thanks to a different Amanda for letting me know Stephanie was on YouTube. I missed the notification. Amanda, you know what? You're not the only one, my love, because my number is way lower than it normally is. So, yeah, kind of crazy, huh? Hmm. Hi, Carline. Yes, we will be releasing those items on our website. Yes. Uh, Carmen says, wow, that's a lot of coding. Oh, Carmen, you have no idea. And I'm so, I'm so like... Because in my mind, it's like, oh, yeah, that should be easy. And they're like, okay, well, that'll take an extra probably 40 hours to code because blah, 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 blah. And I go, okay, whatever, just do it. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, wait, there's somebody. Jane says, hi from Michigan. Happily, all emails are coming to the right place for her. Yay. I'm glad. I'm glad. Dina didn't get notification to see. I know you guys, you guys. Um, friend, me, myself, and I says, did I miss the talk about you having the twins for three days? No, you did not. So that's something we need to talk about. So yes, I am here today. I am feeling a thousand times better. So I need to tell you, number one, see, Deborah didn't get a notification either. You guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did everything the same. You know, even YouTube messes up all the time. Um, okay, lots to talk about. Number one, release, flash sale today. Bundle is still available for my club members. I still have some of the bundles left for my club members. Okay, done. Uh, I was sick. First, I'll talk about being sick, and then I'll talk about the, the, um, the babies for the three days we had them. Uh, yes, I was not feeling well, and I think I know why, but I'm not gonna, I honestly am not going to tell Ken because it will make him feel bad. So on Saturday morning, the morning we had the babies, uh, that was the last morning we were going to have them, I made my yummy egg bites that I eat. They are, um, and I'll have to post the recipe because it's so stinking easy, but it's literally four eggs because I do low carb usually. I don't usually eat much bread, except yesterday I ate three English muffins. Go figure. Okay. But usually I do no low carb. So this is four eggs in a bowl. Half a container of this size cottage cheese. I think that's a cup. I think it works out to be a cup um, of cottage cheese, which I don't like cottage cheese, but you can't tell it's in here, so don't worry. A cup of shredded cheese, your choice. I do the one from Costco that's um, that's yellow and white. Uh, eggs, cottage cheese, cheese, and if you uh, like mushrooms, you can, um, I saute mushrooms and I throw those in sometimes. Uh, if you like bacon, if, I'm too lazy to make bacon, but if you like bacon, you can throw um, pieces of that in there and you put them in little, and then you grease your muffin tins. I use a silicone thing, but you still have to like butter the edges of the silicone pan. And then you put these in there and then you bake it at 350 for 30 minutes and they just pop out. And I usually eat like three for breakfast and they're delish and they're low carb and I love them. I put a little bit of salt on them. I don't usually salt what before I cook. I always salt after. I don't know why. And uh, delish, right? Okay. So I made that Saturday morning and we were running. I was running out the door with the babies and everything. And so I had turned the oven off, but I left them in the oven, right? No problem. I figured I'll just put them in the fridge you know, when I get back in an hour, I forgot. And they were out all in the oven all day Saturday. And Sunday morning, I realized they were still in the oven. So I asked Kenny, because Kenny is my food expert. I said, Kenny, do you think those are still good to eat? Because, you know, I mean, they were in the closed oven, so no buggies got on them. Um, but, you know, do you think they're still good to eat? He goes, oh, yeah, they're totally fine. So I said, okay, great. So I put them in a container, and but I kept three out, and I microwaved those for, I think it's like 30 seconds, you microwave them, and I ate them before church. 
great. Went to church and felt fine. Uh, drove home from church because Kenny and I drove separate that day because he goes to two services. Sometimes I only go to one. Got home. That night was KJ's, Kirsten's uh, birthday dinner with the family. Kenny stayed home with the babies and the rest of the adults, uh, my mom, my dad, Colin, Kirsten, KK, Katie, and me my, and I went to dinner. And we went to an Italian restaurant and not Olive Garden. I didn't get to pick. It wasn't my birthday. And uh, nothing on the menu sounded good. And I started not feeling right. Just didn't feel right. And so I'm like, oh, can you just put like Alfredo sauce and some broccoli together? That's just all that sounds good right now. And they said, we're sorry. We don't make any changes to our menu. Because like it insults the chef. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that just like blows my mind. And they're like, oh, and we don't have Alfredo sauce. I'm like, okay, first of all, what kind of Italian place does not have Alfredo sauce? And second of all, I just want some sauce with broccoli. And they're like, no, we can't do that. It's not on the menu. So I'm like, okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, and everybody's saying uh, food poisoning, food poisoning, yes. So uh, I ate a couple, I bought, I got a charcuterie board for my dinner. That was my dinner. And I ate like three bites of cheese. I just wasn't feeling good. So at dinner, I just kind of sat there while everybody talked. Just didn't feel right. Didn't feel right. Thought I was tired just from the babies for the weekend. And yeah, no, I was sick. And I was sick. And so Sunday morning was my last real meal. And I did not eat another real meal until Thursday night after my crafting corner, I did eat a salad. So I'm not going to give you too much information, but uh, yeah, uh, it was bad. Um, do you, when you microwave the eggs, do they get rubbery? They don't, they don't. So uh, Pamela says food poisoning is no joke. Yes, it was no joke. And so it was, uh, it was awful and, uh, I will never listen to my husband again. I'm kidding. I will. But I, and then, so Katie, uh, came over last night and she's like, all, oh, well, I bet you'll never do that again. And I go, cause I didn't want, I, Ken will feel bad. Ken will feel bad. And I don't want him to feel bad. So the eggs are gone. The egg bites are gone. And, uh, I feel a thousand times better, a thousand times better. Uh, yes. So that was my problem on Monday. Yes. Uh, oh, Marianne says she ended up in hospital due to, due to, um, food poisoning. Yeah. It's no joke. Deborah says, love the bundle this month. You knocked it out of the park. Thank you. Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. If it sits at room temperature for too long, it will spoil. Russ says, yeah, I've learned that now. <laughs> A little old to be learning things like that. But yes, I've learned that now. And I feel great now. Whoa, I feel normal. Uh, it is it is pretty bad. It, it was pretty bad. So I'm totally fine now. Luckily, did not have to go to the doctor. I literally ate like, oh, and then it was like, um, it was funny because on Wednesday, Wednesday, I woke up great. I felt fine. I'm like, oh, I feel fine. I'm fine now. Wednesday morning, I'm fine. And so like I hadn't eaten anything and at one o'clock I'm like, okay, I'm going to go slow. I'm just going to eat a tortilla with butter on it. That's all I'm going to eat. Yeah, no, too early. <laughs> so I'm all better now. All better now. Uh, yeah. Craziness. Uh, so yes. Yeah, so that was my, why I could not be on video. Then we, so we had the babies. We had the babies um, for just a reminder, cause I didn't get to talk about it last week. We had the babies starting Wednesday afternoon until Saturday afternoon. And it went lovely. It, it went really, really good. Uh, we had a couple little snafus. Uh, um, I'm really sad their swimming lessons got canceled. So we didn't get to um, 
we didn't get to watch them do that, but we took them to Pretend City, which was really fun. Uh, they have annual passes. Actually, I have an annual pass there too, because I took I've taken them a couple times. And so it was really fun. We had a couple little snafus. The last night, um, the last night, Liam, so they go down at like eight o'clock and you're done, right? You literally don't have to go in there the rest of the night until the morning when they wake up, usually around 645. Well, at 1030, Liam started screaming like, 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 like never heard before kind of screaming. So of course I want to go help him because something's wrong. I mean, they don't do this. They do not do this. They don't play this. And back up a little, we had bought on Amazon, of course, on Amazon, these little door alarms, because I think I mentioned before, Liam can crawl out of his bed. And my biggest, biggest, Katie didn't get the notice today either, my love. I'm so sorry. Um, my biggest, biggest fear is that Liam will crawl out in the middle of the night, leave his bedroom and go out our front door. Even though we have a chain link, um, he's pulled it so hard one time the chain link came off our door. It was awful. So we bought these little alarms. They work fantastic. I need to put it on my Amazon list because it's awesome. It was a pack of five for like 25 bucks. And you might not even need five, but Kirsten gave me two and she has some at her house. But you put them on, they're sticky, so it's easy. You put them up really high. You put it one on the door, one on the on the door jam, and you can turn it. So if the door opens, a massive alarm goes off, right? So we had set that every night so we don't have to worry. Well, Liam starts screaming bloody murder, like bloody murder, like he was going nuts. 1030 at night, I run in there, forget the door alarm is set, it goes off. The dog, for some reason, can hear this, starts barking like crazy. I turn off the alarm, I run to go get Liam. Meanwhile, thinking, that's great, Miller's going to wake up. And I grab Liam, I go, Liam, Liam, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm holding him and he's, just, ah, ah, ah. and I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He goes, tissue. He had a runny nose and he needed a tissue. I'm like, oh crap. So I go, okay. So I go get him a tissue. The dog is still barking. The alarm is off. The dog is still barking. And Miller, I look, I'm afraid to look at Miller and I look over because they're in the same room. I look at Miller. He's still sound asleep. Ken jumped out of bed actually when the alarm went off because he was like, what's going on? Um, it's amazing what he can sleep through though. Hmm. And uh, so he comes downstairs, he sees I'm okay. So he goes back to bed. He doesn't even try to help me. The dog is barking like there's no tomorrow because she's scared out of her mind. So finally quiet the dog down. Finally, okay, Liam, okay, you're all better now. Here's a tissue. Nana's going to give you a tissue to keep in your bed. Okay, let's go night-night. Okay, okay. Miller's still sound asleep. I don't know how this is possible. So I put Liam back down. I go, Nana's going to put the tissue right here in the corner so you can find it. Okay, okay, okay. He lays down. I get back into, I get back into my room. My room is next to their room, right? And so I'm sitting there and so I turn on the video camera so I can watch him. And so he's kind of tossing and turning. Then he sits up and he grabs his little tissue and he wipes his nose. And I'm like, oh, how sweet. And he lays down and 45 minutes later. So I turn it off 45 minutes later. Guess what? He starts screaming again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, something's really wrong now. So I run down there. This kid is the, he, I raised a genius. I'm telling you. So I didn't raise him, but okay. So I run downstairs. I go in there and he goes, I pick him. I go, what's wrong? What's wrong? Keep in mind. I need to keep him quiet. So he doesn't wake up brother. I go, what's wrong? What's wrong? And he goes, I want to kiss Nana. I go, Liam, Nana will give you a kiss, but then you need to go nine. -nine. Okay, Nana. Okay. So I give him a good kiss. I give him a big hug. Okay. I look at him and we're in the dark and I go, Nana cannot come in again. No more kisses. No more Nana. Nana has to go night night. By now it's like midnight. I, Nana has to go night night. Nana is so tired. She has to go night night. So Nana cannot come in anymore. 
No more kisses. No more tissue. Here's your tissue. Nana cannot come in anymore. Okay, Nana. Okay, Nana. No more, Liam. No more. Okay, Nana. Okay, Nana. So I put him down. Rub his back for a second. Okay, no more Nana. Not until the morning. So I leave his room and I get in bed and I look at him on the camera. And keep in mind, you guys, this, this never happens. Like it happens like twice a year to Kirsten. Like literally, this never happens with these kids because they they did a sleep trainer in the beginning, blah, blah, blah. So he's tossing and turning, tossing and turning. And then he starts screaming, Nana, Nana, one more kiss, please. Nana, please, one more kiss. Just one more kiss, Nana, please. Nana, Nana, please. For 25 minutes. Please, Nana. 25 minutes. I had to listen to this child whose room is right next to mine. Please, Nana. Keep in mind, I can put earplugs in. I'm watching him on the video to make sure he's not getting out, right? I mean, I'm watching him. He's fine. I have my earplugs in. I have my fan on. I have my noisemaker on. And I can still hear him like he's in the same room. Please, Nana. Just one more kiss. Please, Nana. And so I had to come in the office because that's another room away. So I couldn't hear him as much. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot go back in. I have to, he has to know, he has to know. I cannot go back in, I cannot go back in. Finally, about 30 minutes later, it stopped and he went to sleep. <sighs> yeah, Jan says, you'll have to tell him the story when he's older. I know, right? Okay, so the next morning I'm like, Ugh. and, I, and he, I, I get out of bed and I go, Hey, honey, how you doing? And he goes, good. And I'm like, yeah, we had a rough night last night. And he looks at me like I'm speaking Chinese. He had forgotten. So I was just like, oh my gosh. The good news though, is that was the last night they were staying at our house. So the next time they went to sleep, the nap was actually at their house because their babysitter came to watch them while they were asleep. So mom and dad could come home even later. So yeah. That was my fun. And uh, I, I, Kirsten's like, oh. And she's like, that's why. Oh, and I had put a tissue for his nap time. I had put a tissue in his bed. And she's like, that's why there was a tissue in his bed. I'm like, yeah, I didn't want any excuses. <laughs> so it was yeah, upstairs. Hobby Room says, good for you for being so strong. Hard, for, hard, but you have to mean the words you say. That is absolutely right. I, I Nana said no more. And Nana means no more had to stay true to my word, but totally crazy. Um, it was not easy. Um, Aloha would be a good, um, fold it. Uh, that definitely would be a good one. So yes. Yeah, so that was uh, my, uh, big thing. Uh, Darlene, I don't know if you're here. I don't know if I've seen your name yet. Um, yes, we did our, hi Kelly in Philadelphia. Yes, we did our bunny pancakes. Bad news is the video and the pictures are on my phone that I'm using for Facebook. So I can't do both. However, uh, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. So I will show you, maybe I will just do, um, put it on my Instagram. That might be easier. Uh, Quilty says, I am surprised that he didn't yell for grandpa when he didn't go in. Oh, you know why? Cause he knows grandpa ain't getting out of bed. Just saying. No, Ken, Ken would never have gotten out of bed. Um, uh, Carlon, we had some word, oh, a word dies in stamps. We had some stamps that said like mom, dad, aunt, and uncle. Um, search, search that because there might still be, um, they might still be on the website. They might still be, I don't remember. I'll have to look. Hi, Ivy in Hawaii. I guess I will tell him that story when he's older, most definitely. One thing we did learn though not one, oh, don't tell Kirsten or Colin. Not one time did they ask for their parents. Not one time, the entire time. Um, which I take as a compliment because that means they're so comfortable with us. They don't feel any insecurity and they're okay. So um, that made me feel good. Uh, but we did notice that as the time went on, they were getting a little crankier as the time went on. Like Saturday was morning was kind of a cranky day. But we know this and we should do, we need, I don't, 
I they they sleep in like the pack and plays at our house, but I bought thick mattresses, so they're like this thick, but they don't sleep as well here as they do at home. They toss and turn more here, so they're not getting their full sleep here. So I think that was part of the issue when as they started to slowly get a little cranky. But uh hi Deborah, but um everything other than that went great. Uh we had a good time, it was fun. Uh yeah, we'll definitely do it again. I was exhausted, by the way. Hi, Kathy in Utah. I was exhausted, I will be honest. Uh, I'm very thankful I uh, did not have my kids later in life because I am. Ex I was exhausted. But it was, it was great. Um, um, Sandy says, my granddaughter used to cry when her parents would come to get her. Yeah, ours do a lot too. Ours, ours kind of like, no, I want to stay with Nana and Gaga. But um, also, though, at our house, they literally get one-on-one -on -one attention. Like Ken will be in one room with one kid and I'll be in the other room with the other kid. So they literally are singletons, which is a word I never knew until we had twins. But they're literally getting that one-on-one -on -one time that they don't normally get with mommy because mommy is two. <laughs> and so... Um, I mean, even if they were like just different ages, like usually like if you had a one-year-old and a three-year-old, they would nap at different times. So you would be able to have that one-on-one -on -one time, but because they're the exact same age, those of you that have had twins or have been around them or multiples know they don't necessarily always get that one-on-one -on -one time. So it was fine. Nancy, my love, I a lot of people were a little late. Luckily it's recorded. Uh, YouTube did not send out an announcement today or something. It was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It, it didn't, it didn't like work out or anything. Um, let's see in other news, uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to make sure I talked about, please though, check your, I got to like, exalt. please check your, I always sit on my feet. Um, please check your spam folders. If you did not get our newsletter today and market VIP, market safe, market, not spam. Uh, because I don't know what happened today, but a lot of things, a lot of things went into the spam today. And it's like very upsetting to me. I'm very annoyed by that. Uh, so yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. So the pancakes went really well. Darlene, are you here? I don't even know if she's here but today. Upstairs Hobby Room says, love the posy. Thank you. Um, we did the bunnies and the bunny pancakes. And I'll be honest, I didn't think it would work. And it did. So they literally got peep bunny pancakes that were like this big. They were really cute. They turned out cute because it was a shaped pan. So I will get those pictures. Maybe I'll try to put them on my Instagram because it was really cute. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, let me look at my list. Mostly it was just check your spam folder. That thing really killed me today. Um, uh, okay. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So let's see. Um, um, construction vehicles, Nancy, I do have construction vehicles like literally done. The problem is, is we don't release boy stuff as often as I wish we could, because you know what? It doesn't sell as heartbreaking as that is to me. Can you believe that? It doesn't sell does not sell, but I do have some done. So don't get me wrong. Yes. I have three-year-old grandkids too, boys. So yes, most definitely, eventually it will happen. Um, because hello. Um, and Lee Miller knows the name of all of the construction things. I'm all, what's that one? And he goes, that's an excavator. Okay. What's that one? That one's a backhoe. Oh, okay. What's that one? That's a dump truck. Oh, okay. I guess I could guess that one, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, uh, yes, the babies definitely know, well, Miller more than Liam knows their construction animals. I mean, construction, uh, trucks. So let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, uh, any questions? Oh, can you do a tulip set? A tulip set would be beautiful. I actually have, um, 
some more flowers in the works. I'm working. Well, I can't say too much because you guys won't see it for a year. So I'm not going to say too much, but yes, there's more flowers in the works. Um, uh, Bonnie says she uses robots to build a lot. Good. Good. I think that one might be retired. I hope it, I, I don't know. I don't know. It might be retired. Um, tulips and daffodils. Yes. Um, uh, Sharon says she uses the tulip set we have. So I think, is that the one that's on the get well set? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, hi Tina. So those of you that did not get the notification today, I have no idea why. Susan says, order the bundle. Love the stencil. Susan, the stencil is the bomb. And we, uh, Actually, so on the stencil, you guys, just so you know, I hope they put this in the description. I didn't read the description, but it is a four pack stencil at a three pack price. So, and then on top of that, you get the flash sale, the club, blah, 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 all those things, button price, blah, blah, blah. But for the flash sale, we are not, I'm sorry, for the four pack bundle, it's a three pack price. So um, I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it at three pack price. So kind of cool. Oh, the windmill class has tulips. That's right. That's right. Um, Dreadneck says, when are the five by seven flip it's coming back? They are on the schedule. I don't know when, but we, we do have samples. So yes, they are definitely coming back. I just don't know when. I did just don't know when. Um, oh, Margo says she got the text notification. That's good. Are we going to get another new color anytime soon? Patricia, we just got one last week. We just got one last week. Colors take forever to get. So we just got one last week, the yellow, I'm sorry, not yellow, the flamingo. That one came out last week. And we're working on more, um, getting quality cardstock, you guys, is still an issue. And I'm so tired of hearing the COVID excuse. I'm so tired of hearing that. But uh, yes, we're always always working on um, trying to get more colors. Always, always. Yeah, you're going to love this stencil, you guys. It's really fun. I love it. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to talk about before I leave, because I'm going to need to leave. Um, Canterbury Bell Flowers. I've never heard of those. I'll have to look those up. Um, I'll, have to, okay, I'll have to look that one up. Canterbury Bells. Canterbury bell flowers. So we do have some more flowers coming, but okay, you guys. So I need to head out because, uh, I'm supposed to have another conference call. Uh, uh, I'm supposed to have a conference call, but, uh, they last so long in a flower arrangement. Awesome. Uh, dreadneck, any update on the new class? Yes. I sent out an email to, um, Dina and, um, I asked her, what's the plan? We are releasing, I'm going to say it right now, we're releasing a class this month. I don't care what happens. We will release it this month. Um, when, when that is, your guess is as good as mine. But um, uh, yes, this month, this month. Um, Cynthia says COVID has still been an excuse for a lot of things. I know, still tired of it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but yes, it is, um, it, a new class is coming this month for sure. I'm not quite sure with, the, um, Cindy says, good job with the May, 2023 release. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. My friends, I got to get out of here, but thank you so much. Thank you for joining me on this Monday. Those of you that got the late or didn't get a notification, I don't know why. And I'm sorry. Um, I have no control over that, but you can't, this is recorded. So you get to watch it again if you want to. Uh, but don't forget the flash sale is still going on. The bundle is still available because we've added extra bundles to make sure all our club members can get it. And, uh, Thursday for another crafting corner. And I think that's it. So my friends, thank you so much. Thanks for spending your Monday mornings with me. It's always fun. It always gets me pumped up and ready to go. So yes, I am feeling better, Marianne. Thank you. Yes. I can now once e again eat. Um, and I am, yes, <laughs> fine, but thank you. COVID is real. Oh, Pamela, absolutely. No, it, it is absolutely a thousand percent real. Yes. It's just, I get tired of hearing that, 
um, they can't make new cardstock colors because of COVID. And they say that they said that last week. I'm like, what? <laughs> so that's my problem with it. But yes, no, COVID is definitely real. So my friends, thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. I will see you Thursday for another Crafting Corner where we get together and I'm going to make a card. Please, please, please go check your spam folders and look. Just glance through it. See if you see anything from the Stamps of Life. Mark it VIP or safe or something so you get those emails, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay, ha stay, safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.